My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. No, man. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming. I can't believe they actually called that in. Steven called in that freaking bomb raid. Them <sighs> <sighs> pills, bro. So messed up. Stephen. So this is what I was supposed to do. Now I'm feeling Lizzie's story. I don't know. Hello, Lizzie. Stupid bloody girl went out for a cigarette and then didn't come back. 
and then die. She went out after him and she didn't come back oh, either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I'd be looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. I'm still not quite over what just happened with the bombs. Oh, okay. You can't save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Steven is definitely my least favorite person. Cheating on Kate. Convince Clive, I think was his name, to uh, drop the bombs on innocent people. I don't think everything's gonna be happy-go-lucky anymore from here on out. Main hall. Okay. I keep expecting most of these doors not to open. Where everyone was taking refuge. I hear a phone, but it's odd that I can't go through. This is a public service announcement from Haberton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. But be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Okay. So there's three different paths that I see. 
have the ability to take right now. Check this one out real fast. Oi, Shipley. I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. I think this is about as much I can handle for one session, so I'm probably going to just stop recording for tonight. So, as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.